beautiful souls and welcome to today's live today i'm going to talk about the father wound which is the wound of abandonment and why it does affect a very specific area of the body now if you've seen my story today i ask you all like where do you think the father wound of abandonment is stored within the body if you didn't know this, every type of emotional trauma that we experience during childhood and in our adult life is actually um, stored energetically within the body. We are energy, everything is energy, and we do have different bodies. We have a physical body that you can touch, which is in the third dimensional space. We have a subtle body, which is our energy or auric field, and then we have our mental body and our emotional body now you might not know this but the emotional and mental body is actually available to everybody while your own physical signal of pleasure of pain is actually personal to you what does this mean it means that when you have a wound for example the abandoned wound which gives you sadness and anger that is hold at the emotional level of your auric field, that energy is perceived by the people around you. So when something happened, maybe with your husband, maybe with your partner, or maybe with your kids, especially if they're boys, that activates the father wound of abandonment and you feel lonely, you feel um, the trigger of all the emotion of sadness and anger, that anger it's actually projected onto the person <laughs> or whoever is in the room with you. And so as a spiritual uh, psychology coach, uh, I believe that this type of patterns is just affecting our lives in ways that we cannot really see in that moment, but it just piles up. And then you just look at your life and you're like, People telling you you're mean, people telling you that you are too much of a man or very aggressive, very ambitious, and somehow that it turns out to be negative. And as a woman, as a mother, you are gentle and kind. But in these moments, when you trigger, when the father wound is activated, you are what is so called like the monster, <laughs> like a little monster, right? And so, what I want to talk about today is why is it stored this energy within a specific part of the body? Now, if you didn't know this, in traditional Chinese medicine, every single emotion that is not dealt with in the moment that follows its own cycle of flowing, right? When we are not in flow, we are resisting, right? That resistance created by our mind traps this energy. And the brain traps this energy in a very specific organ and location within the body. So when the father wounds happen, and it happens normally during childhood between two to four years old, some event happened where you felt abandoned by your father and or by your mother now the father wound is very interesting because it's called the father but it's actually a masculine wound so if you are a man you can have the abandonment wound with your mother if you're a woman you have the abandonment wound with your father that's a very interesting part but anyway so where the where is it stored is it stored in the solar plexus in the stomach area which is the upper side of the belly now how can you tell that if you have this wound number one right because you may think oh yeah i might have the wound of abandonment you know my father left me at the supermarket and he completely forgot about me and so i felt abandoned and so i'm angry at you right i'm sad and i'm angry it doesn't work like that not every single event that happened in our past may result in a traumatic experience or may result in a trapped emotion sometimes it could be as simple as you haven't been heard maybe you wanted to to speak about your needs and you've been shut up and that created a high state of negative emotion that you couldn't handle because you were a little child you didn't have the tools you didn't have the experience to understand what we we're going through and so that emotion that hasn't completed its own cycle 
is stored in the body, in the upper part of your belly. Now, there are certain signs that you can see if you have the father wound. I had the father wound in my father and through a shamanic healing that I done on myself, I actually seen and envision I accessed the part of my brain and know exactly what happened and then I confronted my mother and asking her if this situation really happened because my father was passed away at the time when I discovered this um, and it actually did happen so this is the story and then this is may something that can really resonate with you and so I invite you you know to dig it deeper so you can release this wound because it's affecting in the way you're dealing with man and also with masculine energy you're in the do 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 all the responsibilities of the world are on your shoulder and guess what you're suppressing every sensation and emotion because you can't cope you have too much on your plate and if that's you just listen to my story so um, as I was saying I was doing a shamanic um, journey I am also a shaman like I have many 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 titles because I study energy work for 15 years so yeah, in very good hands. So what happened is this. I was two years old. My mom had an emergency surgery and she had to be hospitalized for a week. And of course, as a two-year-old girl, you don't understand this. Even though my mom tried to prepare me, you know, talking to me. But the fact was she was there and she was gone. In the meanwhile, my father was traveling for work. Um, he was building his own business empire. And so he brought me to my aunt's house to take care of me a place where I've been very few time again with, with my mom and my dad and I was left there for a week and I would see occasionally my father but I was with my aunt and so what happened is I literally saw my father leaving the door and I'm going to grab his hand and the door shut down and I start crying so when I had this shamanic journey I released a lot of a lot of sadness but also a lot of anger because I didn't understand why are you leaving as a two-year-old girl my aunts took care of me but I just didn't have it and then whenever my father would come and visit I would just clean on him I wouldn't let him go but he was gone and after seven days when my mom was finally uh, well enough to have visitors and everything they brought me to her and of course I had a lot of anger towards her as a little child but then I always had that picture in my mind especially during my teenage years like men leave right men they are here one moment and then the other they are gone I cannot rely on man the masculine is the business mind is all about the money and that's more important than love all of these were my limiting belief that were born from that traumatic event and it was stored within the upper part of my stomach resulting in an engorging of the area meaning fat oh yeah meaning fat engorging area because i had to protect that energy center which is the third chakra, which is a masculine energy chakra, which is the chakra of doing manifestation, creating like the job, the working part, right? And so I had to protect it and I had to suffocate it. Now, what does this actually look like? I used to love wearing corsets. Only if I wore a corset or a belt, very extra tight, I will feel confident and it was not anything nothing to do about the fashion that was going on it was just a feeling of I am protected I am safe I had ropes and I would tied but extra tight you know and I had my ego building this image of beauty around you know they're like I don't know in English again the name of this shape and so that enhanced even more my wound. Because when you are really physically tightening up one area of your body, meaning you're wearing clothes that are too small, you like very, very tight, slim fit jeans, all of the following, 
you are actually trying to compress the energy within your chakra so you don't feel emotions because you already have all of that wound activated within your solar plexus and the center plexus is a masculine chakra and it's where the father wound of abandonment is stored so depending how big this area in your body and body never lies the body keeps the score the body is the manifestation of what's going on in your mind we know now we have so much knowledge about it that you create your reality based on the way you think i mean a book from napoleon hill think and grow rich like so many people doctors phd science itself recognize that you can create and change your reality based on the way you think and the way you think is based and imprinted in the way you were raised based on those i call it trauma but you don't have to be scared about trauma word it's just a high level of negative emotion that you have experienced when you were a child you didn't have the tools to understand what was going on and so the brain has stored that energy because we are all energy within your physical body and it has stored the father wound of abandonment within your solar plexus and so if you are one person just like me who has maybe you remember you know maybe you were a little bit older a senior situation happened you can release that wound and it will not only improve the relationship within your own father or the males in your life your partners your friends your children but it is for your own relationship within the masculine no matter the sex of the body that you are in or how you identify yourself in within your gender we have a masculine and feminine energy you can call it a yin and a yang you can call it whatever potato potato i don't know <laughs> you can call it whatever you like but there are two opposites and one is about purifying is about doing is about acting the other one is about nurturing giving and the beautiful caring part one it stays into the action one into the being and we have to create balance within them event in your life will make your scale go on one way to another based on the need if you have the father wound of abandonment activated you're gonna be on a survival mode you're gonna be on autopilot you're gonna be doing 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 you're gonna be angry with the world frustrated with every man in your life feeling lonely and sad and you don't deserve to live this way i believe we all have the power to heal ourselves if we have the right tools and the right knowledge and we are committed to do the work to change that because healing is tough going to the gym to shape up your body is tough you have to work on your mental level, on your emotional level, but guess what? You can have people like me, spiritual psychology coach, who have done all the study, who have done all these practices, who are people who went through that type of wound. I used to have so many different courses. I used to cinch my waist so much and I would feel good. And when I would release, I would feel so uncomfortable and ugly. I didn't feel like myself no matter what was going on in that area so healing this part guess what happened if you heal the father wound of abandonment you feel connected you feel you can trust man your husband <laughs> your children you can feel good in making the right decision for you what is right for you to do is not going to be influenced by the negative emotion but it will be influenced by the hope the love the trust and the joy that you want to bring in your life we want joy right and joy is a very feminine <laughs> energy <laughs> and so um i don't know hi hey megan how are you if you have do uh, you have any questions about the father wound let me see hi cat hi hello angel hello everybody so if you feel ready to heal 
<laughs> if you if you feel ready to heal the father wound of abandonment, I'm offering free coaching sessions. Excuse me, with free coaching session from now until the 15th of December, where we can catch up on Zoom for 30 minutes, and we're gonna just do like a nice hardcore coaching about what is really going on, and that you're gonna leave with so much clarity, so much understanding, and you're gonna start the process of healing. And then if you feel connected to me, you feel that we can do this work much deeper and to have a permanent and more long-lasting asset in your life, then you're welcome to join my coaching program, which is going to start in January. Okay. Hi, hi, everyone. So you just what you need to do is just go on my uh, bio, follow me, make sure you follow me, and then click the link on my bio book yourself into the calendar link i open extra spaces for the next couple of weeks so i can get connected to as many soul sisters and soul brothers because this is open as well for men um hello you need to put this on youtube <laughs> and i shall do so thank you <laughs> thank you oh uh, wonderful okay so again if you feel connected that my story and the father wound of abandonment is something that you want to change, take advantage now of this great opportunity. I have recently come back into the coaching because I just had a baby, my baby boy, again, like connection with him, the baby boy, um, which has, you know, brought up my father wound of abandonment. And that's something that I have recently, you know, just work on myself because guess what's the difference like it's not like you heal your father wound and then you're done forever the difference is that the father wound that you have you may have carried it for 20 years you may have carried it for 40 years and never be able to deal with it if you're finally closing the cycle of emotion you're not only going to have less of this emotion stored but you're going to have the tools to deal with it it's going to come back into your life because life is made of cycles of birthing and death life is up and down life is a roller coaster i'm not here to tell you you heal this you'll heal forever that's not true and i done this work for 15 years still going but i can come back into my inner beautiful self into my center peace and calm i'm love like peace and peace and inside much quicker and it used to take maybe a week before, then it took three days. Now it takes me a few minutes. And I'm back into myself without projecting into people. That's what you get when you do the work. So thank you so much for today. We want to finish with a nice benediction. So you're welcome to close your eyes, take a nice deep breath in. And I'm breath out. Let's take another one. Inhale very deep, filling up your lungs and release. <sighs> Relaxing the shoulder. Open up your heart chakra. Open up your heart for the possibilities of joy and love and peace. How beautiful it is to be connected to this amazing energy, which is the divine source, whatever you want to call it. And right here, right now, I recognize that we are all part of this infinite golden well of infinite love and infinite wisdom and infinite intelligence and truth. We are souls, spiritual beings, living in a human body, experiencing themselves right here, right now. And as the powerful creator of our life, we get to choose whether we want to create love, joy, passion, or we can choose anger, arguing, frustration, and stress. You are just one choice away from empowerment. But choosing empowerment means actually knowing why you are so focused in the negative part of your life. There are certain things that need to be healed. Healing means deal with it, closing the cycle of energy. And letting it go so you can truly enjoy your present moment and so i'm so grateful for you to have 
listened to this video i'm so grateful for you to be here i'm so grateful for the future connection that might happen i welcome you in my, in my heart because i know you're my soul sister my soul family and we are all in this together and as a beautiful community we come together at the right time in the right moment and so i want you to tell you this you're not alone in this you got people who went through this you have people that can guide you can give you those stepping stone and then you can take the leap and fly and so i believe that we can all have the best life that we have no matter how many kids we have <laughs> how many arguments we have with our fathers or mothers or children you can have the best life that you can and it's just one choice away so again i welcome you in this space let's take one last deep breath in and as we place our hands into our heart let's be grateful for this connection and then one place hands or both of them into your solar plexus and just affirm after me i release the father wound of abandonment I love my masculine side. I choose and I allow healing to come to this place right here, right now. Even though I might have emotion, traumas undealt, I choose to find peace in this moment, knowing that I'm not alone in this, knowing that other people healed it and so it is possible for me to heal it too. And with this knowing I choose to live in faith and trust, knowing that I am already healed. you some reiki blessings for your father wound may all be healed right near now one last deep breath in and release and so it is thank you so much for joining in hello love Hi. Thank you so much for all of you. I can't wait to read all the comments about this video. Do let me know what you think about. If, you, if that's something resonated with you, you're welcome to DM me to get in touch with me. I'm always so, so happy to meet new soul sisters and soul brothers during my journey. So have a lovely, blessed day. Namaste.